Hi everyone, in this training video, I am going to show you Fagor's icon based conversational programming and operations for 8060, 8065 lathe control. You will all be amazed to see how easy and user friendly this control is, and no prior knowledge of any CNC machine or programming is required. This full length course will cover all the operations, procedures, and advanced functionalities we would cover for on site training. So be ready to take lots of notes and feel free to skip to other sections of the video as needed. The timestamps for these sections are in the description below. Let's get started. Whenever you switch on the power to the machine, you will need to release the emergency stop push button and press reset on the operator panel. This will clear any emergency related messages and CNC will be ready for operation. These are the X and Z position with respect to part zero, active tool, Axis feed rate, programmed spindle RPM, and real spindle RPM. At the bottom menu, we have the icons for our conversational cycles. Unlike most of the conversational controls available in the market, we do not have to go through various menus to access our icon based cycles. And no prior knowledge of any CNC or G code programming is required. CNC displays active messages on the top right side of the screen. Home search not done. Press zero key from the operator panel. Message comes up, press start for home search. We will press cycle start. Access will move to the machine home position. To call for new tool, we'll press T, one, cycle start. CNC will move the access to the tool change position and execute the tool change. To define new tool change location, jog the access to the safe location, press T, cursor down to to the change uh, change position field, press recall, enter, recall, enter. This way CNC stores the current location as our new tool change position. To program new spindle RPM, we'll press S and key in the RPM, 500, press cycle start. Now you can select the spindle direction from the operator panel, clockwise, stop or counterclockwise. You can also activate MDI mode by pressing the MDI key from the keyboard for any manual commands. For example, M3, cycle start, M5, cycle start. And escape cancels the MDI mode. We are going to make a part program for the drawing as shown on the screen. This will require four tools. Outside turning tool, threading tool, grooving tool, and inside turning or boring tool. We are going to use a 1 inch pre-drilled rough part with 5 inch diameter and 8 inches long. There are many ways of doing tool calibration depending on individual's preference. If you have tool probe installed on the machine, you can use calibration with probe as well. We will perform manual calibration for now. We are going to use the same rough part for our tool calibration. Let's calibrate tool 1 which is the outside turning tool. We'll turn on the spindle. Select Measure from the right side menu. This takes us to the manual tool calibration screen. We will jog the axis and make the skim cut along the diameter. Now jog the tool away along the Z axis to clear the part. Stop the spindle. Now we can measure the diameter more precisely and enter the value in XP field. 4.9956, enter. ZP, we will leave it as zero. Now that the tool is in line with the skim diameter, we will select take X measure from the right side menu. Message comes up, new value will be loaded. We'll press enter to confirm. Now we will jog the axis and make skim cut along the face of the part. Select take Z measure. Message comes up again, we'll press enter to confirm. So now our X and Z calibration is done. T1 is the current active tool, D1 is the offset number. All tools has its own independent offsets and can have up to 8 offsets each. For now, we will program offset number 1 for each tool. We will move our cursor to this square icon and by pressing the space or the toggle key, CNC will display more tool shapes available including milling tools for live spindle. You can select the appropriate shape that matches your tool. We will select diamond shape. Next icon displays the location code. Depending on the location of your tool turret, you can put uh, pick the appropriate code. 
in our case turret is located on the back side of the spindle so we will pick this icon now we will cursor down to the geometry and we can define the cutter data as highlighted in the help text below and as shown in the image now we will calibrate our threading tool without exiting the screen we can press T on the keyboard tool field is selected key in 2 and press cycle start our next tool is executed we will jog the axis and touch the tool to the skim diameter and select take X measure press enter to confirm now jog the axis to touch the face of the part select take Z measure enter again to confirm now our calibration is completed we will select the proper tool shape location code and define the tool data for threading tool as before next is the grooving tool press T on the keyboard key in 3 cycle start we will jog the axis and touch the tool to the diameter of the part select take X measure enter now touch the face of the part select take Z measure enter and now we will define the shape and geometry next tool is the inside turning or boring tool press T and key in number 4 press cycle start now since it is for the inside turning we will touch the tool to the inside diameter of the part we will start the spindle and jog the axis to make the skim cut along the inside diameter stop the spindle measure the diameter and enter the new diameter in XP field 1.056 enter select take X measure press enter to confirm now we will jog the tool to the face of the part select take Z measure press enter now we will select the location code for inside turning and define the geometry data we can press escape to get out of tool calibration screen so now we are going to set up our part 0 so first I'm going to call tool number 1 cycle start this is our pre-calibrated tool we will adjust the part in the chuck so it is sticking out by six and a half inches and then jog the axis so the tool is touching the face of the part at this time we can preset our Z to 0 so I'll press Z on the keyboard key in 0 and then you can press enter message comes up are you sure you press enter again so our Z is set for 0 but in our case I would like to face off the material by 50 thou as well so instead of presetting it to 0 I will change it to 50 thou so I will press Z again key in 0 0.05 enter are you sure enter so now all our calibrated tools will follow the same position and we do not do this process we do not preset along the x-axis because the center of the part never changes so I will jog it out of the way we will create a new program we will go to edit by pressing the edit key from the keyboard left side displays the list of all the programs and the right side displays the blocks stored within the selected program currently G code program is selected by pressing the focus key on the keyboard we can uh, move our cursor from left to right now let's create a new program we will select uh, new programs from the right side menu now we can key in the name we would like it to be called I will call it training and then press enter the new program has been created and on the right side we can save all the cycles we are going to use our icon based conversational cycles to create the program for the drawing shown on the screen so first I'm going to select the first icon uh, from the bottom menu it gives us uh, uh, all the options available for any turning operation as we move our cursor along you also see the help text associated with that particular cycle so the first cycle we are going to make is a facing cycle so we will move our cursor to number three which is the simple facing and press enter this opens up our facing cycle as we move our cursor along we can see the help text at the bottom of the screen and we can take help from the image on the left side bottom of the screen also displays the current XZ position with respect to part 0 first we will key in the X starting point 5 enter Z starting point 0 0.05 this is the face of the part enter X end point is 5 the same dimension is automatically copied from our X starting point Z end point is 0 enter safety distance 0 0.1 enter 0 0.1 enter 
diameter since the part is a pre drill hole of uh, 1 inch so we will enter uh, we will key in 0 0.75 enter in case it was a solid part we could have entered 0 or minus 0 0.1 to compensate for any tip radius when our cursor is on a square icon we can press space or toggle key from our keyboard to see more options this is clockwise counterclockwise enter uh, coolant on and off constant surface speed or rpm enter s maximum is 1200 enter gear 1 enter if you have more gears on the machine then you can key in 2 or 3 depending on the requirement roughing uh, with roughing without roughing enter uh, triangle is the maximum roughing pass if we look at the image it shows the it is the depth of cut so we'll key in 0 0.05 enter feed rate of 10 thou enter uh, so cutting speed 650 enter tool 1 enter offset number 1 enter then with finishing without finishing then finishing stock in X we we'll leave it at 0 enter finishing stock in Z 0 0.01 enter feed rate 8 thou enter spindle uh, cutting speed 700 enter tool 1 enter offset 1 enter now we will test our cycle by selecting simulate cycle graphic screen comes up first we will define the part dimensions select dimensions from the bottom menu edit delete window comes up on the screen we will enter Z minimum since our part is sticking out by 6.5 inches from the chuck we will key in minus 6.5 enter Z maximum 0 0.05 this is the face of the part enter inside diameter 1 enter outside diameter 5 enter now we'll cursor down to ok press enter graphic screen is updated now select start simulation if we press ctrl G CNC expands the graphics display and by pressing ctrl G again takes it back to the original size press escape to cancel simulation now select save cycle it opens up the edit screen the last active cycle is displayed on the bottom right side menu we select facing cycle the cycle is saved in our training program the best part of Fagor's icon based conversation cycle is that once you have created one cycle you pretty much know all the cycles the way to enter the data and the icon based concept remains the same next we are going to do turning operation we will select turning icon from the bottom menu and pick turning with corner rounding enter opens up turning cycle inside turning or outside turning now uh, x starting point is 5 enter z starting point 0 x end point is 5 z end point is minus 6 enter safety on x and z will key in 0 0.1 enter 0 0.1 diameter we want to achieve is 4 inches enter and here we can define any radiuses or chamfers at any of the three corners and rest of the dimensions uh, rest of the data we can enter the same way as we did for the facing cycle so now we will press graphic simulation start simulation turning operation is done escape save cycle select turning with counter rounding from the right side menu cycle is saved next we are going to do turning operation again for smaller diameter we will select turning icon pick turning with corner rounding our x starting point is 4 enter and our z end point is minus 3 enter diameter we want to achieve is 2.5 enter now we do have a radius at point number 3 so we will select radius enter and radius is 0 0.5 enter now press graphic simulation start simulation press escape save cycle now we can select turning with corner rounding from the right menu and the cycle is saved next is taper cycle select turning from the bottom menu pick number five corner chamfering and this icon is the starting convex or concave corner and this is end convex or concave corner this icon is for machining quadrant whether machining from front or the back side of the part x corner point is 4 enter 
z corner point minus 3 enter safety 0 0.1 0 0.1 diameter uh, where the taper starts is 3.5 enter angle is 30 degrees enter and this icon selects the machining direction whether it is along the face or the turning side and rest of the information we will enter as before we will press simulate cycle start simulation press escape save cycle select corner chamfering cycle is saved now let's select grooving icon from the bottom menu takes us right in the grooving cycle without going through any menus we have straight face incline face incline and cut off cycles we will pick number three incline grooving inside or outside groove starting x is 4 enter starting z minus 5 enter and x is 4 and z is minus 5.5 then safety distance is 0 0.1 0 0.1 diameter at the bottom of the groove 3.5 enter now from these icons we can define radiuses or chamfers at all four corners of the groove we will select radius for corner 1 0 0.1 enter alpha angle of at the first wall is 10 degrees enter uh, angle at the back wall is 0 number of grooves is 1 distance between grooves if more than one groove is 0 by this icon we can select the penetration type I will select zigzag penetration next icon defines the chip removal rest of the machining pass feeds speeds and tool data can be entered the same way as in previous cycles select si uh, simulate cycle start simulation simulation completed press escape save cycle select incline longitudinal grooving from right menu cycle is saved next for threading we will select threading icon takes us right to the threading cycle we have more options like uh, straight taper face thread repair and multiple thread entries we will select thread repair now we have outside inside face threading endpoint data full or partial thread x starting point 2.5 enter z starting point is 0 x endpoint is 2.5 Z endpoint is minus 2.75 enter safety 0 0.1 0 0.1 end of thread distance where the tool starts ramping out at the end of the threading pass I generally recommend using thread pitch as end of thread distance 0 0.05 enter number of starts 1 K and W uh, uh, when repairing a thread we will jog the tool so the tip is right in the middle of the existing thread root as shown in the image then press recall for both these fields CNC will capture that Z location in the K field and spindle angular position in the W field we will leave it zero for now this icon is for threads per inch or thread pitch I will select threads per inch 8 threads per inch enter total thread depth 0 0.1 enter now small h gives us the option to program an extra last clearance pass to repair the bottom of the damaged thread we will leave it zero for now spindle rpm maximum penetration pass repeat last threading pass or not thread exit smooth or abrupt exit decreasing or constant penetration minimum decreasing pass will not go below 3 thou thread penetration option I will select flank penetration then penetration angle I leave it uh, 30 tool number 2 enter now select simulate cycle start simulation is completed press escape save cycle select thread repair from the right side menu cycle is saved next is our last inside turning cycle select turning icon and then select turning with corner rounding select inside turning x starting point is 1 this is the pre-drill hole z starting point 0 and then z end point is minus 2 enter diameter we want to achieve 
1.25 we have no radius so I will select square corner rest of the information is good except the tool so press T from the keyboard tool field is selected key in 4 enter press T again 4 enter simulate cycle start simulation completed escape select save cycle press turning with corner rounding from the right menu cycle is saved now we will type in M30 this means end of program wow that was a pretty long section I hope everyone is still following along now let's simulate and execute the same as a complete single program move the cursor to the block where we would like to start simulation select graphic simulation CNC remembers the previously simulated part press delete from the bottom menu to clear the graphics or select dimensions edit to define new part start simulation now all the cycles will be simulated together to change the view of the graphics press view from the bottom menu and then you can select solid or tool path plus solid simulation speed allows to slow down or increase the simulation by adjusting the speed bar you can adjust the speed bar by pressing shift plus arrow left or right on the keyboard in case you want to view the section of the part you select setup tool view activate section view press ok now we see the section view HD graphics is optional in case you do not have this option CNC will display standard graphics as shown on the right side press escape to exit simulation We will highlight the block where we would like the program to start execution. Select execute program from the right side menu. We can see program is selected with cycle start icon. We'll press cycle start. Now program is in execution from the selected block onwards. If we press auto key from the keyboard, CNC displays another screen that shows program in execution, command, actual and distance to go. We can view the real time graphics by selecting graphics on the right side menu. Execution graphics is independent from the simulation graphics, so we will define the part dimensions again. We'll select dimensions, edit, delete. Now we will enter our Z minimum as minus 6.5, enter. Z maximum is 0 0.05, enter. Inside diameter 1, enter. Outside diameter 5, enter. And then click on OK. Fagor offers very powerful background editing which allows to create, edit, modify or simulate program in the background while another program is in execution. You can have two different graphics active simultaneously thanks to independent graphics. Now we can press escape to exit graphics screen. In order to execute only one operation we will highlight the cycle. Now if we uh, select execute program from the right side menu CNC allows to start the ex program execution from the highlighted block onwards so we will press recall opens up our highlighted cycle so now let's disable the roughing operation and select execute cycle cycle start icon comes up we'll press cycle start CNC executes corner chamfering finishing pass only. Tool inspection allows us to inspect the tool or the part and adjust any wear offsets while program is in execution. We will interrupt the program by pressing cycle stop. Program is interrupted. Select tool inspection. Once tool inspection is activated, CNC will allow us to stop the spindle and jog the axis away from the part. Now you can open the door and do the inspection. If you would like to adjust the wear offsets, you can select measure from the right side menu and enter any wear offsets for X or Z if required. Press escape to exit the screen. We now will reposition the axis to continue machining. Repositioning first block allows us to reposition the axis to the beginning of the block. And repositioning alone allows us to reposition the axis to the point of interruption. We will select this option. CNC displays new options to start the repositioning sequence. We will select spindle first, press cycle start, spindle is on now. Uh, we select Z, press cycle start. 
and in the end we'll select X cycle start we have repositioned the axis now press cycle start again to continue machining so far we have created a profile by combining various cycles together this was done to give you a better understanding of how icon based conversational programming works now we are going to create the same profile by using our most powerful cycle called profiling cycle select the profiling icon from the bottom menu takes us right in the profiling cycle first uh, shows uh, point to point turning and second one is profile turning while we enter our profile points it will draw the shape on the screen at the same time third and fourth are profiles and pockets involving live tooling with C axis Y axis if available on the machine let's select profile turning so inside outside profile and the next icon is machining direction and X starting point is 5 that is our rough stock Z is 0 0.05 enter now here we can enter the name of the profile I will call it training and then press recall on the keyboard to open the profile editor now we can select edit from the bottom menu if we have DXF file we can select import profile for now we will select profile we will enter our profile points first point is Z0 enter X is 0 0.75 enter and then we press validate from bottom menu next is straight line so Z is 0 again enter X is 2.5 enter validate and straight line now Z is minus 3 enter X is 2.5 enter validate straight line Z is minus 3 enter now X is 3.5 that is the point where the taper starts enter validate straight line again now we know the angle so I will enter the X value which is 4 enter and I will put the angle of 150 because as we are going in the direction towards the chuck the angle is 180 so 30 degree means 180 minus 30 which is 150 enter validate now we select straight line again Z minus 6 enter X4 enter validate straight line minus 6 Z enter X is 5 enter validate all the points are entered now select save and continue now we need to blend our first corner into a radius of 0.5 inches we will press escape once gives us more options at the bottom menu now select modify corners rounding we can select any corner by pressing next element from the bottom menu now first corner is selected we will key in 0 0.5 enter now corner is blended press escape finish save profile rest of the information can be entered as before now this icon selects the roughing operation whether it is straight roughing or pattern repeat roughing and the next icon shows the exit at the end of the roughing pass either follow the profile or exit at 45 degrees when roughing operation cannot remove all specified material due to geometry of the profile or the tool as shown in the image cycle remembers the leftover material and uses this residue operation to remove this excessive material before performing finishing operation now let's press graphic simulation so control G to expand the graphics start simulation looks good control G to bring graphics back to normal press escape now save cycle I'm going to create new program call it uh, training profile enter select profile turning from the right side menu cycle is saved M30 at the end highlight the cycle to be modified press recall this opens up the selected cycle make necessary changes and press insert on the keyboard message comes up replace or insert replace will, will overwrite existing cycle and insert will save this as a new cycle highlight the cycle to be copied press ctrl C on the keyboard now move the cursor to the new program you can press focus key to move your cursor from one side to another create a new block by pressing enter 
move cursor to empty block and press Ctrl V. Cycle is copied. We can combine conversational programming with G codes as well. Uh, you can create an empty block and input any G codes at any time. Highlight the cycle or the program to be deleted and press delete from the keyboard. Message comes up, are you sure? You press enter to confirm. To copy a program, select the program, press Ctrl C and then press Ctrl V, program is copied. Currently we have PRG folder selected for our programs. To rename a program, we will go to utilities screen by pressing utilities key on the keyboard. This opens up the Windows Explorer. Now you can select the program and rename. Program must not be selected uh, in edit or execution mode in order to rename or delete. You can also create new directories in this utilities folder. We recommend creating directories in public folder as this is the unprotected open folder by default. To select new program directory, press change menu from the right side menu. Select open program. Now you can select new directory and press enter. Our new directory is selected. Now pressing change menu again brings back our conversational icons. From profiling cycle, we will open profile editor. Let's give it a name DXF sample, recall, select edit, import profile. This opens up Windows Explorer. Now you can select the DXF file we want to import, press enter. If you have more layers of profiles, you can disable unwanted layers. Now select convert. This opens up the profile in this profile editor. You can modify this profile as well. Press finish, save profile. If you press arrow key or click on the arrow, CNC displays all existing profiles in the drop down window. And all these profiles are located in profiles folder as path shown on the screen. Let's select graphics to have a better view. You can see our current part zero. Activate MDI mode, key in G158 Z7 cycle start. This shifts our part zero by seven inches. Cancel MDI mode, now execute program. You can see program executes 7 inches away from the part. Activate MDI mode again, key in G158 by itself, cycle start. Original part 0 is restored, now you can execute program. When we are machining deep internal profiles using long boring tools, as shown in the graphics, we may experience some vibrations or chatter while machining. To help reduce any vibrations, Fagor has created the option to define machining segments. We can program the distance per segment into this TP field. Let's put one enter. Now you can see CNC executes roughing passes in segments of one inch and then run the complete finishing pass of the whole profile at the end. Fagor offers a very powerful Fagor feed control feature. In case if we have to adjust the feed override or spindle override from the operator panel to get rid of any vibration or chatter, we can save the new feeds and speeds into the part program on the fly by just pressing the FS icon from the right side menu. Only the current cycle in execution will be updated and rest of the cycles or operations will remain unchanged. If we input number sign or hashtag ISO on at the beginning of the program and now simulate the cycle, CNC will generate G-code programming out of conversational program. New program is generated with the same name, FISO. Now you can view the G-codes, make changes and execute this program. You can define the part in the beginning of the program. This will automatically update the graphics dimensions when we simulate or execute the program. We can program number sign DGWZ square bracket and minim Z minimum is minus 6.5 Z maximum 0 0.05 inside diameter 1 outside diameter 5 and close the bracket. Now if we simulate the program graphics is automatically updated. For example, if we are doing inside grooving with starting point at minus 2 inches, we need to make sure that tool follows the safe path to reach 
the starting point. You can use positioning cycle and save it before and after the grooving cycle. As you can see, first positioning cycle positions the tool close to the board center, then executes grooving cycle, and second positioning cycle brings the tool out of the board. All the three cycles are programmed with the same tool number, so no tool change is involved. We can also program the distance between the face of the part and the starting point as the safety distance in Z. This will also ensure safe tool path to the starting point. That covers the main bulk of conversational programming for our 8060-8065 control. I am now going to cover some frequently asked questions that I would typically receive during on-site training. If I don't cover your question, please feel free to leave a comment below. We will calibrate our new tool which is a drilling tool of half inch diameter with a new part of 4 inch diameter. We will first call our pre-calibrated tool T1 cycle start. Now jog the axis and touch the tool to the face of the part. We will preset our Z axis to 0, Z0 zero, enter enter. We do not preset along the X axis as the center of the part never changes. Now we can call our new tool T6 cycle start. Now jog the tool and touch it to the diameter of the part. We will select measure from the right side menu. Now we will enter the diameter of the part plus the diameter of the tool in the XP field. 4.5 enter. Now select take X measure. Enter. Now jog the tool and touch the face of the part. Take Z measure. Enter. Calibration is done. Press tools from the keyboard. This takes us to the tool library. Here you can view all the tools. You can assign names to the tools as well. By pressing focus key, you can move your cursor from one side to another. Magazine shows the turret or the magazine position for each tool. Once you have set your part 0, select offsets from the right side menu. Opens up uh, the list of work offsets. Highlight the offset number you want to use and press enter. CNC automatically updates the selected offset number. X remains 0 because we did not preset on X. Escape to exit. In order to manually enter or modify your offsets, press tables from the keyboard. This opens up zero offsets table. Select MDI mode and key in G53 cycle start. This will cancel any presets or active work offsets. If this full course helped you out, please like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. If you have any questions or requests for future video, please leave a comment below. Special thank you to our marketing coordinator Ryan for editing this video and our Midwest sales manager Gary for appearing on screen. Thank you for watching.